Hi everyone, I'm Patrick and in this episode I want to get a short demo of a new tool that I recently got, Accelera Metis M2 for AI inference. In this video I will try to briefly explain why such a device is produced and what can be done with it. To make things clear, this video is not sponsored by anyone. The statements made here are my personal opinions and I prefer it to stay like that. Before I will go into more details, if you like my content, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks. Let's now talk briefly about the concept of edge computing. As Wikipedia says, edge computing is an approach to move compute resources closer to where data is processed. In 2025, even simple businesses like local grocery shops can have multiple cameras and many computers to support shop operations. Not to mention fully autonomous shops that are becoming more prevalent. As more data is being produced at such locations, it's getting less economically viable to transmit all data that is being generated in the edge locations to a main data center as the cost of bandwidth may be too high and as it also lowers availability. Putting all the AI hype aside, Edge is pretty much the most critical place where AI applications make sense. Of course, it's not necessary to get the latest NVIDIA GPU to just do inference. You can get a specialized device that is more suited for the job. There are already options on the market that help with deployment of AI models at the edge. Those options include, for example, NVIDIA Jetson, as well as other smaller chip brands. In the context of the recent geopolitical reshufflings in the world, it gets more complicated to design a low-risk supply chain. The best option is of course to produce as many parts as possible locally so that in case of a disruption it's still possible to maintain production. Since I'm based in Poland, it may be better to have a look at options in the European Union and since TSMC factory isn't yet still open in Poland to produce Nvidia chips, we may want to look at what local suppliers offer. One of the best options in my region is Accelera a Dutch company that was opened in 2021. They started with a METIS chip, a unit for vision inference. I will show a demo of categorization and also an attempt of running an LLM, although I must say it's a failed one. The current METIS AI processing unit consists of four AI cores that are able to leverage embedded one gigabyte of DRAM. The CPU is leveraging RISC-V for its operations, which is good to see. We can finally see an interesting example of this family of open source processor architectures. Accelera AI claims that the chip has performance about 210 tops. Now, why didn't I mention flops? Tops stands for trillion operations per second. Those are simple operations, usually on int8 type. Simple operations on decimals are used in inference, whereas flops are used in the AI training process. So how does this 210 tops compare to other options on the market? The chip is about 10 times faster than Helio 8, which has 26 tops. Comparable to Nvidia Jetson or in AGX, about three times slower than Nvidia A100, Tensor Core GPU. Of course, this comparison to the A100 GPU isn't the best one as Tensor Core units are designed for floating point operations and have many enhancements to speed up the training process. This comparison, of course, does not include the memory, which is a very small amount for AI applications, but as I mentioned, the current device isn't designed for Gen AI applications that require vast amounts of memory, although it's something that will be improved in the near future. For the testing, I got Metis M2 card with active cooling. Even though you can order a card without cooling, 
It's a must to have a radiator with a fan as the module without cooling can get up to 90 degrees. Based on my testing, without active cooling on, the chip starts malfunctioning at 90 C, so it's better to have it if you don't want to have your chip cooked. I installed the card into my Dell Optiplex 7060 Micro with some older Intel i5 CPU, which can mimic typical hardware you can find at the edge. Kinda outdated machine with minimal resources to run things. Following the installation guidelines was straightforward with just one additional step. I had to configure group to disable Intel input-output memory management unit before installing firmware. Once that step was done, the installation process was successful. There is a whole bunch of sample models we can run from the SDK. So let's try to run a model YOLO v5. Once we invoke the command and pass a sample video, A loader is shown and soon we see the analyzed video with an overlay showing detected people. Accelera in its SDK defines two types of environments, one for development purposes and one for runtime. Development environment allows for generating executable code for a target platform and runtime environment gives ability to run models on hardware. SDK focuses on pipelines when defining vision model inference. In an example, we can see a simple classifier pipeline that invokes a model that's also defined in the file. There is also a way to define a model. Simplest model can be used for inference that provides the coding and basic categorization capabilities. Looks like that. Let's now try to run this model. Just as I was making this video, version 1.3 of the SDK was released, which allows you to run LLMs on Accelera devices. It's a great development as there are many use cases for offline LLMs that can be used in, for example, customer support bots or any Edge AI assistant. As with other functionalities, there is a tutorial that gives step-by-step -step instruction on how you can run an LLM on your device. There is a selection of pre-configured models that can easily be invoked and tested. I did try to follow it with my current card, so I started with upgrading firmware, unfortunately with an error. Well, I did try to move on and generate requirements for LLM processing and installing them. It worked till firmware upgrade, which failed, same as previously. But well, I did try to list available LLMs and run it. Unfortunately, nothing worked. As I mentioned in the beginning, my card only has one gigabyte of RAM and it looks like the smallest LLM require four gigabyte of memory, so it cannot handle any model. Looking at their upcoming hardware product briefs, they will release development boards and PCIe cards with 4 and 16 GB of RAM. So till then, I'll just need to wait patiently. It would be interesting to get an evaluation board with 16 GB to test out the new features. But for now, I must say it's a nice tool with quite decent performance for classification tasks. 
On a con side, it's a new hardware company, so the SDK is still limited in terms of interoperability and there isn't much materials on the internet to learn how to work with the hardware. Although there is a community place where I found quite some number of help when playing around. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to be informed when a new material is out. Thanks.